I'm John Larson, technical trainer for EpiRock USA, surface and exploration drilling. Today we're going to be talking about how to adjust the air regulation on a FlexiRock D65. This also applies to the FlexiRock D60 models as the system adjusts the same way. Here at the cabin side of the machine, towards the rear, we open up the canopy. We have our high pressure air regulator and our low pressure air regulator. To adjust the regulators, we loosen the lock nut and spin the top anti-clockwise to reduce pressure, clockwise to increase the pressure. We have our interstage air pressure and our air pressure that's being delivered to the head. We can also monitor it inside the cab to see what we're actually getting out the flushing head. To do this and set the pressures properly, we need to cap off the end of the drill string so that we get the proper pressure. If air is allowed to bleed through via either a bit or the hammer, we're not gonna get an accurate reading for the pressure that we wanna set. For the low side, we'll be between 17 and 20 bar for low impact and collaring pressure with a four inch hammer. And on the high side, we'll be at about 25, 26 bar for max pressure delivery. We don't want to exceed the 26 bar for the four inch hammer as the cycle rate would be too fast. On a D60, our max pressure will be that 25, 26 bar for drilling. On a D65, 30 bar will be max. Be sure after the adjustments are made, we tighten down the lock nut so they don't loosen up while drilling and they come out of adjustments. If you need any further assistance on this, please contact your local EpiRock service center or dealer for your machines.